In this strategy, we're going to extend what we looked at last week, the count on strategy, and use it for count on three. This is as far as we go. Note we don't do count on four or five or any other numbers. Count on three is the extent of the counting strategy. So I mentioned last week about the fingers. That's why we discourage counting on fingers because you could do that for all sorts of numbers and it would be very, very inefficient. So we've got the 10 frame and the number line. They're both recommended resources and I'm looking at this particular number fact, nine plus three and it's turnaround three plus nine, just as the first example. So let's look at the number line. We're starting at nine and we're counting on three. So we're going one, two, three. What will the number be that we get to? So if we do that, we can see the answer straight away. We would start this orally and say, if we start from nine, count on three more numbers. What is the next number, the next number, the next number? What will that number be? Let the children think about that. We'll use the whispering strategy or nodding the head. You see Kylan does a silent inter intermediate count. So go nine, 12. It might be easier to do the whispering, nine, 10, 11, 12, and so on. You've got to keep track of the three jumps, but it shouldn't be difficult for students to see. We're just going on three more numbers, three more places in the counting sequence. And there's the answer, 12. With the turnaround fact, three plus nine, again, of course, we're not gonna start with three. Let the children tell you why we don't start with three and count on nine. Obviously it's slow, but worse than that, you're likely to make a mistake. There are so many to add on. And you can't keep a track of those nine without using fingers, and so, you know, it's full of problems. But if we see three plus nine, we would instantly turn that around because we know we can count on three. So start with nine, count on three, it's the same as the first number fact. Looking at the 10 frame, um, we're using a double 10 frame because we're starting with nine, it's gonna go beyond the 10. Again, we would say, here's nine, imagine another three. Can you picture one there? How many will you have to picture on this side? What will that number be? Um, students aren't gonna find that difficult. And this introduces the idea of place value that a full set of 10, well, I should probably write it, will be one group of 10 and then two others. There's the 12, so that links the place value to that particular number fact. Um, just a, a point here as we move beyond the 10, the basic number facts are single digit numbers being added together. So nine is the biggest digit that we'll add and the biggest number fact will be nine plus nine, obviously. So we won't be doing number facts like 14 plus two. There's no need to learn that as a separate fact because we already know four plus two is six and then the 10 is just a separate part. So you could say that's going to be 16. So just, just to be absolutely clear, the numbers that we're adding together in all these basic number facts for the first eight sweeps that we do will be the digits from zero to nine. And we don't even include 10 because if you have 10 and then you add a number, another number, that's a simple place value question. You know, 10 plus three, well, that's 13 because that's how we structure 13. Okay, so that's it for this sweep. I look forward to talking to you again in sweep number three.